Jeremiah and I met on Bumble. We met on a dating app. He was in town in Orlando for a conference and I was swiping away. He had mentioned Camino de Santiago, which is a hike that I have been interested in going on for years. I knew that he was from Indiana, so I wasn't really thinking that it was for dating, but I swiped because I wanted his YouTube channel. <laughs> for Camino de Santiago. He didn't realize he was swiping on women in Orlando. And so we kind of accidentally met. <laughs> so we connected and the first thing I asked was for his YouTube channel and for his information about Camino de Santiago. We started chatting and he's like, if you're really interested in going on the trip with us coming in May, we should grab dinner while I'm down. And I was like, sure, why not? He seemed like a nice guy and dates are fun. So <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I think we've talked every day since. It wasn't an immediate like love at first sight. I really thought there was no opportunity for forever because we lived in different states and both of us are so rooted in our cities that it's not an option to live together. For a bit, it was like, yeah, we'll just talk for fun. And then it evolved over time. We did end up going on Camino de Santiago together in May and really got to see each other for two weeks straight, walked over 100 miles together. Yeah, just got to see like a different side and over time, it's just been more and more like, how oh, this is my person, I can't imagine my life without him. The truth is pretty much every memory is better with Veronica because she is such an optimist. She's so positive about everything about life. And so whenever you have that kind of joy that just kind of comes into everything, then everything becomes better. But of course, we spent three weeks walking across Camino de Santiago in Spain when we were very new in our relationship. And you kind of need some optimism when you're sweating 13 miles a day. It was really amazing to be able to share that experience together. And so uh, for us to be able to bring our families together now and under one household to learn to live uh, together as, as a family of six and to do that with that kind of optimism and joy and, and expectations is really exciting. Overall in the future, I'm really looking forward to blending our families and having just a, a home that is safe and empowering and encouraging and all these wonderful things that I've wanted for my boys, but to do it with him and Dee and to be able to make that space a space that is welcoming to all the people that we love and people that we're gonna meet and continue loving on people like we have done individually, but doing it together. Veronica, I love you so much. I'm so thankful that we get to spend the rest of our lives together and that we have chosen each other and done so with, uh, with such confidence and also with a lot of hope for what's coming. Veronica, Jeremiah, from this day on, I promise to love you, honor you, and cherish you, I'll care for you, and myself, and welcome your care for me. I will protect you and be grateful as you protect me. I will pursue generosity, authentic communication, and your heart as much as it's in my strength. I promise to create a safe home for our family, even while pursuing incredible adventure. All of this, now, now for the rest, for the rest of, my, of life. my life. Here in God's presence and in the presence oh, of these guests, I pronounce you husband and wife. Jeremiah, kiss the bride.
movies We'll have a strong love The whole world dreams of